It's got such a lovely big round sound to it with a good deep bass on it. doing here we're printing a box for the A33 TDK speaker system that will contain some 18650 lithium ion cells and uh, sit on the bottom of the A33 feeding it loads of power so that it can sit there and play music for me whenever I decide I want it to play music for me we're gonna have like a really cool little Bluetooth speaker um, instead of having nickel metal hydride cells in it it's going to have lithium ion cells in it oh I forgot that's where you are down there hello and I'm going to print it on my 3D printer and that's going to contain lithium ion cells that are going to go in to this bad boy here so that we have like a nuclear powered speaker system uh, this is a wonderful little uh, TDK speaker system so that will contain batteries and that will clip onto the bottom of here and then we will have an awesome speaker. Keep watching. So right now we're printing up the containers. Uh, it involved a toothbrush and um, a pot of mustard, English mustard. No, I'm kidding, that's PVC, PVC juice with water and a toothbrush just to apply it to the build plate. And that, uh, and that I find really helps the media adhere to the 3D printer. So another thing that I did earlier, that I noticed that the 3D printer wasn't quite putting filament down this side at that corner. So I made myself a little note here. It says to increase the bed height, rotate the wheels in a clockwise direction. So these little wheels here, I was able to adjust those on the fly as it was printing this little piece of filament around the outside and uh, that sort of really helped. charge on the Luck EFEST Luck V6 charger we have a whole bunch of lithium ion cells that came from used laptop batteries and uh, these guys will be connected up with battery management systems in order to drive the A33 and I do make a point of trying to collect these cells they're really useful here's a few more of those cells being uh, used in conjunction with another project. All right, so we've got uh, a bunch of 18650s here that I've carefully selected from old laptops. And uh, we've got a little battery management PCB here. So we're gonna put these in parallel and then we're gonna attach it to the bottom of this TDK A33. So a lot of people don't recommend soldering uh, these 18650 batteries and uh, yeah it probably doesn't make sense to do it but um, you know I'm dubious I like to take the risk so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn up turn up the, uh, the temperature on the tip get it up nice and hot we'll solder these batteries up in parallel
So be careful with that if you're going to use a meter to measure current directly like a short across an 18650. Yeah, it might give you more than 20 amps and that's a, it has the possibility to blow the fuse in the meter but um, I'm sure you'll figure that out. Right then, so now I've got to go ahead and solder up all of these batteries here to that wonderful PCB. I'm such an idiot, I just realised I've done this all wrong. Um, <laughs> we don't want one, two, three batteries in series and another three batteries in series. We want three batteries in parallel and another three batteries in parallel. God, I'm such a muppet. Righto peeps, here they are, lithium ion batteries, as you can see they're connected in parallel and this side are connected in parallel. So effectively you've got one battery on this side and one battery on that side. And those guys are connected to this little battery management circuit here. Uh, so that'll stop things from getting overcharged, uh, short circuiting. So these lithium ion cells are quite sensitive if you um, use them to the point where the voltage drops below a certain threshold, effectively they go open circuit and um, they don't charge back up again. So you need a little battery management circuit in there to make sure that you don't destroy them by accident by overusing them and also you don't destroy them by accident by overcharging them. They're quite sensitive. So that's the reason why I've gone ahead and fitted this little battery management charge circuit here. So in order for this battery management circuit to work, you have to apply power to these two terminals here. As soon as you've done that, it uh, turns on or fires up the firmware in this uh, little battery management circuit. So hopefully this should keep everything good and stop things from, uh, from going bang, or reduce the risk of things going bang, and also um, discourage these batteries from uh, from dying on me. So the next thing I've got to do is I've got to put protection tape on all of these. I've got to figure out how they're going to fit into this tray and uh, then we've got to mechanically bolt it all to the TDK there. So this is the battery pack that I made, which was made out of uh, two, four uh, lithium ion cells from a uh, laptop. So it should have lasted a really long time, but um, because ultimately it was getting overcharged regularly and actually probably depleted too far, um, it stopped working. So hence that's the reason why we're making what we're making now, which is actually starting to look quite nice. So there it is, got to figure out, because I couldn't print the whole thing, my build bed wasn't big enough. Um, so I need to figure out how to, how to strap those together, but ultimately that's all looking like it's working. So uh, there's a little connector there, so we can connect all of this bad boy up. Um, here there's a little thermistor. Uh, to switch off or stop charging the batteries um, and there's the uh, there's the cable and the connectors very carefully remove that connector uh, each of those leads remember these are also lithium ion but I believe they're one of them or two of them are faulty now um, and uh, then we need to find a way to plug all of that lot into here and connect it all up Probably just going to be tape and hot glue, I expect. But with a bit of luck, <laughs> soon we should have our speaker system up and running again. That'll be cool. Inside. Yes, indeed, satisfaction. So, a um, little bit of a pain to kickstart the PCB here, but uh, I'd already built a little charge port on the front of here, if you can see that. So, um, so I just plugged a little charger into that bad boy and all of a sudden the PCB uh, started up and um, boom, we've got a TDK A33 sound system and this thing, it's got such a lovely big round sound to it with a good deep bass on it. So uh, yeah, really happy with the way that that has worked out. So now it's a case of Trying to get all of that lot to fit in here, hot glue and more tape, I'm sure, 
and then bolt it onto the uh, to the bottom of the TDK, and uh, and we're done. Well, as I'm sure most of you guys are aware, I'm a complete heathen when it comes to uh, tape. I couldn't be asked to reprint this. But what I do like is the little angle that it's offering up. Um, and obviously, I'm going to get so much functionality now. So, uh, right, let's put it to the test. All right, okay, I forgot. So, yeah, we're not going to put it to the test just yet because uh, I've covered a few ports with um, tape. So I need to very carefully just go ahead and uh, expose those ports and remove this tape. Please bear with me.